everyone, I'm Val, and it's time for another pre-cruise vlog. And this is my third vlog on um, on the pre-cruise. And as you know, Steve and I will be going on our fourth cruise in January. We are going on the Oasis of the Sea, and we'll be going uh, out of Fort Lauderdale to Cozumel, Haiti, and Jamaica. So I'm doing a vlog once a week on Tuesdays until the week that we leave and then I'm gonna vlog while we're gone so um, this is my third pre-cruise vlog and this week's topic is going to be on shopping and I you know most of us like shopping so um, I'm gonna give you my experience with um, cruise shopping and port shopping and uh, if you have any experiences that uh, you want to share let me know and um, so let me get started okay so all ships have um, stores on the ships um, some of the I know Oasis of the Sea is a large ship so it, it's probably going to have some great shopping on the ship um, we always do a little bit of shopping on the ship but it's best to wait until um, towards the end of the cruise because things tend to go on sale and they have some great sales on the last couple of days um, that you're out on the ship uh, so we do kind of like look around and do a little window shopping, but we wait till the last um, day or two when they start putting things on sale, marking things down to buy any items that we want to buy. Um, we do have to be careful this year because this is the first year we're going to be flying down, so our space to bring souvenirs and stuff home is going to be limited. So um, we're going to be careful on what we buy. So we still haven't figured out how we're going to pack and be able to have room to bring stuff back. but. We always like to bring a few things back with us. Um, you do have to know that if the a ship is in port, like when you first get on the ship, if you need something, you're not going to be able to buy it until this ship sets sail because um, the stores on the ship are um, are closed while the ship is in port. So there won't be any shop until the ship leaves the port. Um, I don't think they're allowed to sell anything so uh, be careful that you don't get on the ship and there's something that you need make sure you have what you need when you get on the ship um, we did run into that on our very first cruise there was something we needed and we went to try to buy it and we couldn't so uh, make sure you have the items you need when you get on the ship um, or you're gonna have to wait until the ship sets sail to to get a necessity item that you might need um, once you're on the ship they have uh, usually have little um, presentations or, or seminars that will talk about the different ports and the different shops in the ports. And I don't know if these shops are contracted, um, you know, have contract contracted. I'm sorry, contracted the ship to promote them or not. But uh, usually they talk the ship. Uh, the person that does a presentation will talk about specific specific stores once you get off onto each of the ports and they kind of promote them and a lot of times they'll give you little certificates that you can take into the stores and they may give you uh, a gem say they'll give you a free gemstone for a ring or something and we did do that on the first ship that we were on um, the uh, Celebrity Mercury they had those little seminars and they gave us a little certificate for a free gem for a ring or for a necklace and we did do that and we went down to um, I think it was Diamonds International and they gave us this little gemstone and of course you know we wanted to have it set into a ring or a necklace and that cost extra because you had to pay for the setting they were only giving you the free gemstone well we did do that and we got a little ring made up and I love the ring it was very beautiful and um, but it was very fragile and I do a lot of work with my hands I'm always doing something and I hit it one day and I broke the setting so and I took it to a jewelry store to try to have it fixed and they said that they couldn't because the stone was very fragile and they couldn't put any heat around it so I'm not sure how the they originally made the ring setting to hold this stone but I did not I couldn't find a jeweler to be able to fix it so it's sitting in my drawer now and I can't wear it so uh, was it worth you know having it done I'm not sure if you know somebody that can fix these gemstones you know maybe let me know that but it was a pretty ring and when we, we did that too going into Cozumel a couple years ago is my husband wanted to buy me a ring 
and which I thought was sweet. I don't, I'm not one to wear a lot of jewelry, as you see. I don't have a lot of earrings and necklaces and stuff. It's I just stay too active to worry about jewelry and you know have have jewelry on. I'm I'm not real showy and I don't know. I just I don't need all of that. Um, but I do, you know, I like to have a pretty ring or something if I'm going out or, you know, it, it's okay. So I told him it was fine. He could get me a ring. So we did uh, get another ring in, in Cosimo when we were there a couple years ago. And that, too, now has broken. And um, I think he paid a little over $100 for it, which I know isn't a lot for a ring, but still $100 is a lot for a souvenir. So I still now have not found a place to get that repaired and it's because some of the stones it's really was a really pretty turquoise and it had some turquoise stones in it but I guess they were opals and I didn't realize that they were opals somebody said it was an opal and that's why some of the stones on the the side of the ring have cracked and um, so I guess we'll have to find somebody who can repair opal I don't know if it's worth it. Can we match the turquoise in the ring? I don't. I don't know. It's probably not a ring that can be repaired now. So now I have two rings that sit in my drawers that I I can't wear. So I don't know. I think I'm going to go away from the whole trying to buy jewelry on a cruise thing. Um, you know, it's better if you want to buy jewelry. I guess just buy it local. That way, if something does go wrong with it, you can take it back to the store that you bought it um, from and have it repaired or or get replacement jewelry. Um, so I'm, I really am not one that's going to go buy jewelry in a port anymore. It, to me, it's just not worth the investment. It, it's, I don't know, it's not, to me, good jewelry. Um, and that's just my opinion. Um, besides that, we do have a few things that we do like to buy in the ports. We like to buy um, picture frames in every port that we go to with the name of the place that we're in, like a picture frame that'll say Jamaica or whatever. And my husband builds little shadow boxes for me and I paint them, or shadow box type boxes. And we have a wall which is our cruise wall and places that we visited, each of the ports that we visited and we get the picture frame from the port and we put them in the picture frame on the wall. And I'll go down and um, show you a little video of our wall so that you can see what it looks like when I'm finished with this um, this video here and I'll just add it to the end of this video so you can see. The, another thing we do like to get in the ports is um, we like to get a little Christmas ornament or something that we can use as a Christmas ornament to put on our tree so that every year when we're putting up our Christmas tree we have a little ornament to remind us of the places that we visited together. And we don't just do this with our cruises but any place we visit um, in the United States too on our little weekend trips. We'll try to find a little ornament or something to hang on the tree to remind us of the, the journey we've had in life together. It's kind of like a Christmas journey tree. And then we can share this when we're setting up our tree with our grandchildren and, and tell them about the places we've been and the things with, that we've done together as a couple. And uh, the children enjoy this. So, and we're, this is, now we're getting close to Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's uh, this week. So we're going to be putting up our tree on Friday after Thanksgiving, and I'll show you the ornaments. I'll make a separate video, so you know, subscribe and you know, look, come back and look at the video of us putting up the tree, and I'll show you the different little ornaments that we've collected through the years that we've been together, and uh, and as the children are putting them on the tree, and that'll be fun. Um, so this year when we go into the ports, of course, we're going to get our picture frame and we're going to get our ornament for our tree, and I think we'll have enough room in our suitcase to pack three picture frames and, and uh, three little ornaments. Um, actually, we don't need one from Cosmo because we've already been there, so it'll be just the two places that we'll need. Um, the uh, When you get off on the ports, there's plenty of places to go shopping. There's, there's usually booths set up right um, as you're getting off the ship of, of local vendors trying to get uh, rid trying to sell you their, their goods. That's how they're making their living. Um, be careful. Try to find stuff that um, is local. You know, stuff that, that they've made there or that is local to them. A lot of stuff is, you know, made in other countries and it's, you know, kind of commercial, um, touristy stuff. But it's fun to find local products. We don't come back a lot with um, 
stuff that you have to display. Uh, we don't have a lot of display room. We don't want to have to deal with, you know, dusting a lot of ornaments and stuff that are left out all year round. Um, but we do like to have our picture frame, so we do get that type of thing. I know a lot of people like the wood crafts and, and different things like that, and that's fun. We just don't have a lot of room to display that kind of stuff. But there is a lot of port shopping. We like to buy t-shirts, too, for the kids or some kind of something with the, you know, it'll say Jamaica on it or something like that. We'll buy little shirts sometimes and bring back for the kids or, or something. Uh, and always protect your wallet and your things because, you know, you are a tourist and there are people that want to steal from you. So I, um, I know fanny packs are, you know, kind of a thing of the past, but I do have a little, I have actually have a waterproof fanny pack that I use when I go um, snorkeling and stuff. And I wear the, that off the ports because it can go underneath my shirt. And so people don't know I'm wearing it. It's very, very thin. So that's where I keep my money and my my passport and my ID. Um, I, I don't actually bring my passport off the ship, and I'll talk about that later. But I keep a copy of my passport in my fanny pack, or my waterproof fanny pack. It's very thin. And um, that way, nobody's going to go, nobody's going to steal it from me. They're not going to pick my pocket. It's something you really, really have to be careful with um, when you're in ports like that. Um, and just stay into areas that are safe. Um, just don't go out into outlying areas uh, where, you know, the, they will rob you if you're a tourist. So just be very careful with where you go once you get off the ship. Um, and just have fun with it. Have fun shopping. We love to go through the shops and, and see what there is that we can bring back. Um, but uh, I think that's all the tips I have for shopping. I'm going to go down and show you my wall because I, I love my little souvenir wall of my, uh, my picture frames. So we'll go down and look at that. And remember to subscribe and like and comment below. And... I will see you next week with another uh, pre-cruise video. Thank you. All right, so this is our, uh, our one of our picture frame walls. And you can see the pretty shadow boxes that I was talking about. And this uh, picture frame is from Antigua. And this is us going on a uh, swimming with the stingrays adventure. Um, this one is in St. Kitts and we did some horseback riding up in the uh, rainforest. So as you see, this is us on horseback. Um, this one is a shell that we got in, where did we get this? St. Martin's. Uh, this is, oh, got a glare on it. This is St. Martin's, and this is us on the ship um, as we were leaving the port of St. Martin. And there's the St. Martin's logo on that one. And then coming around here, this one is St. Thomas. And this, um, ooh, hang on here. This is a uh, a place right at the Port of St. Thomas where um, you can have your picture taken. So we just stood behind this picture frame um, there and had our picture taken there. And this one is uh, the Bahamas. And of course you see the Bahamas sign in the picture too. Our second cruise. So that was, yeah, that was our second cruise and um, our Bahama picture there. Now we have started another cruise wall over here and so we can add our picture frames that we get this time to this wall because we have plenty of space there for more cruising. This one came from Cozumel when we went a couple years ago third and cruise. this was our third cruise and um, that's our Cozumel one and then this one came from the Cayman Islands and we did some snuba in the, uh, the Cayman Islands so this was a picture of us underwater there. So I think it's real fun to have a cruise wall. And I'm looking forward to the pictures that are going to be here from our 
our uh, Royal Caribbean Oasis of the Sea Cruise coming up in January. So I'll show you that when we add more pictures in, uh, in February. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe and I'll see you real soon.